Hi, I'm Peach. Welcome to Class 2, General Knowledge, Episode 4. And today, let's learn about animals, Part 2. In this video, we will talk about the wild animals. So now, let's find out which animals are considered wild animals. Let's start with the animal that is also called the king of the jungle, the lion. I'm sure you have already heard of the lion. Moving on to the next animal, we have the tiger. Did you know that there are several different kinds of tigers? For example, the pictures that you're looking at right now represent the Royal Bengal Tiger. The next on the list we have the Mighty Elephant. A fun fact about elephants would be they always travel in herds and they're extremely close to their own families. The next on the list is a giraffe. The most distinctive feature about a giraffe is its long neck. The next we have is a zebra. A fun fact about a zebra is the patterns that you see on one zebra is always unique. So there are no two zebras on this planet who have the same pattern on their coat. And next we have rhino or the rhinosaurus. These majestic animals are characterized by their armor-like coats and the horns. Then we have the hippopotamus. Do you know a fun fact about hippopotamus? They love having watermelons. The next on the list is deer. There are several different kinds of deer. For example, white-tailed deer, spotted deer, moose, reindeer, etc. Then we have fox. Foxes are considered to be extremely intelligent animals and they are also great at protecting their own families. Moving on to the bear. Bears are also of different kinds. For example, the grizzly bear. One fun fact about bears in general would be they love to have honey. Moving on to the next animal on the list, we have the monkey. Just like bears, monkeys too are of different kinds. Monkeys are symbols of playfulness, mischief and fun. Then we have the beaver. The beavers are considered to be great architects of the animal world. Beavers can be found in freshwater habitats like lakes, ponds and rivers. They also make beautiful and strong dams across rivers. Then we have the hedgehog and the porcupine. These cute animals are found across Europe, Asia, Africa and New Zealand. When a hedgehog feels threatened, it can roll into a tight ball. They are also distinctly identified by the spines on their backs. Porcupines are usually found in rocky areas. They can be found both in deserts and hilly areas. Then we have the raccoon. Raccoons can easily be identified by their black and white bushy tails. Did you know that raccoons can make over 50 different noises? They can also move at an incredibly high speed. And they have special paws. The next we have are the cute pandas. These gentle animals have six fingers. They can climb trees and also swim. The main food of panda consists of bamboo. Moving on, we have the koala. These cute little animals have fingerprints and smell like eucalyptus. Koala, however, are picky eaters and they don't drink much water. 
And the last animal on our list for the day is squirrel. Did you know that the front teeth of squirrels never stop growing? Also, squirrels may lose 25% of their buried food to thieves. Squirrels can find food buried beneath a foot of snow. So these were some of the wild animals of our planet. Yay! Now you've finished the lesson. And always remember that animals are our friends, so don't forget to love and take care of animals. If you want to know more about domestic or pet animals, be sure to check out my other video. You will find the link for that video in the description box below. Bye bye for now. See you soon. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Peach Peanut Poppy.